Hello, welcome to this video. I'm Joshua Roig. I'm working at the Reliant Plasma GmbH here in Regensburg, Germany. And in this little video, we are going to show you how to correctly set up our Plasma Brush PV3 system. This is exactly how you get it delivered. And we're going to start by a part which is in the bottom, which is our power source PS2000. On top of this box, you have the operating instructions. In this manual, you can find the whole information you need to operate the plasma system, including the information we tell you in this video. Additionally, you have two connectors, one for the emergency stop and the other for the power supply, which still need to be wired to your specific circuits. For the purpose of this video, we already got wired both of the connectors, the one which goes to a simple emergency stop and the one which goes to a power supply. The power source itself fits into a 19-inch rack. Let's have a look at the back. Let's start by the power input. Please pay attention that the black rubber is still on. You need to ground the device at the foreseen bolt. Finally, plug the emergency stop in. After setting up the power source, now we are going to have a look at the plasma generator, which was in this box. Thank you. In this box, you can find the plasma generator itself, one of our nozzles, and a high voltage cable extension. Now we are going to assemble the parts. To mount the nozzle, screw the front part of the generator. Please be aware that this ceramic part can fall out. Put these two parts together and screw them back on. Don't use any tools. Finally connect the plasma generator to the cable extension. And the cable extension to the power source. For both connections, avoid using tools. Once we got the whole system set up, we still need to have a gas supply. In this video, we decided to have components of the Festo company, which are in the description of this video. Now we're ready to go. Thanks for watching.